As you recall in the previous training video, we learned about critical paths. There are a series of tasks that must finish on time so that project can finish on time. And it's marked in red each uh, task that's critical. That if you delay one, it knocks the next one out, and that one's critical, so it's going to knock the next one out. It's like a domino effect until it pushes out the project's finish date, in which case we're no longer finishing on time. Now, these other tasks are in blue. We've got some delay time. In other words, if I delay this task by one day or push it out by two or three days, well, that's a good question. How many days can I push these tasks out before they become critical? And it bumps those tasks that are critical that bumps the next one so it pushes out the project's finish date. Well, project has what's called slack time. It's the amount of time a task can slip before affecting other tasks and or the project's finish date. So to go ahead and take a look at that, the slack time, let's go ahead and change views and come over here and right click on the view bar and go to the Gantt chart, and then come up here on the Format tab, and there you go. Let's become slackers, and you can see in that pop-up, it says Slack, also known as float, or I call them floaties, shows how much a task can slip before it affects another task or the project's finish date. Once you go ahead and check that, notice that if we have any slack time, it'll display it over here next to, well, any task, like the project summary task in that line that you can see when you hover over it. And you see in that pop-up it says free slack until September the 21st. Oh, that's good. So all these tasks, you know, we can go ahead and push out till the 21st. After that, if we go to the 22nd, then it's going to become critical. And you can see you've got one down here for this task. It says it's got free slack until the 24th, after which it's going to become critical. I can try to figure this out in my head how many days that is, or better yet, let's go ahead and change views and go to the detail Gantt view. By coming over here and right-clicking on the view bar, going down to More Views, and select Detail, double-click on it. And then, of course, if you don't see the chart over here in the Chart view, right-click on the Time Scale, go to Zoom, and say you want to see the entire project, click OK, it'll zoom right into it, and there you go. So it not only shows the slack time, but also the number of days that you have that you can be a slacker for, well, the research phase, six and a half days. So I can knock this out one day, that two, that uh, maybe one. I'm still under six and a half days before it becomes critical. And then you can see we've got six and a half days for this as well. Now notice that when I hover over this one, it says the slack is good until the 24th. And this one, when I hover over that one, is good until the 21st. Why is that? I mean, shouldn't it be good until the 24th? Well, you want to break your project down here just a bit because notice that you're still taking into account that, again, when you hit the 21st, you still have a couple of additional tasks here. And how many days are these? Come up here, click on the View tab, and go to the Zoom group and change it. Well, it said days, but actually when I click on it, it now updates and it shows me four days. But if I go to days, there you go and see if this makes sense. Look in the duration box, you've got two days for this one, and then one day for that one. So if you add it up, this one finishes on Tuesday before it becomes critical because we've got one, two, three days, and that's what we've got here, two plus one is three. So you take into account that after these tasks or that phase finishes on the 21st, you add three days, it hits the 24th, which when you hover over that, it says free slack until the 24th. And then it knocks all the other ones out, and we don't finish on time. So this free slack is taking into account these other two tasks here. The research phase as a whole, any of its subtasks goes past the 21st. It's going to knock these out, and that will become critical. That will become critical, and then it's just one critical mess. And we uh, don't finish our project on time. And then let me go ahead and right-click on the time scale, go to Zoom the entire project, click OK, and you'll notice that none of the critical paths to verify this has any slack. No slackers when it comes to finishing on time for any task that's on the critical path. Let's go ahead and go from the detail Gantt. You can see it right there. Right click and go to the Gantt chart. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.